Minnesota's governor today said enough is enough and announced new plans to relieve the state's hospitals and their workers as COVID-19 cases continue to grow. CBS 3's Natalie Grant breaks down what's to come out of the governor's new plan. Christy, the governor made that announcement today following a tour of a Twin Cities hospital where he saw the stressful ICU conditions firsthand. Walls' new plan calls upon the National Guard to assist in several areas. The first is to provide staffing support at Minnesota's long-term care facilities and expand access to the COVID-19 emergency staffing pool. Now that allows those care facilities to request emergency staffing if they're experiencing a shortage due to an outbreak. He's also directing the Department of Human Services to free up capacity at any state long-term care facilities to then free up beds at hospitals. The National Guard will also help expand rapid testing options across the state through a new community rapid testing program. Those will be put into place at several locations across the state, as well as some existing community testing programs. Governor Walls hopes that these new efforts go a long way in helping stop the spread of COVID in the state, but says at the end of the day, vaccinations are the best weapon against the virus. Can't stress this enough, Minnesotans. Don't end up in the hospital if you can help it. And one of the ways you can do that is get vaccinated for COVID-19. And we're going to make sure that you know whether this is a cold, whether it is allergies, whether it is the flu, whatever it might be, is we're going to use our very large capacity and re-step up rapid testing across the state. Now, as of right now, those new rapid testing sites will be in Stillwater, Hutchinson, and Crookston, with more expected to be announced early next week. Now, the governor also made a plea to state lawmakers today, who the governor says have not taken any action to relieve state hospitals. He says to put their uh, political agendas aside and pass legislation that will help Minnesotans continue to navigate the pandemic. Kristen.